Behind the scenes, behind the lines, inside the stories others won't tell. The Morning Insiders. Well, it's still so weird to see it like this, but Navy Pier remains a ghost town, closed to visitors for six months now. Yet a new luxury hotel opens on the pier today. What will it be like to stay there when the rest of the site is shuttered? Morning Insider Lauren Victory takes us inside. The near future is foggy at Navy Pier. No Ferris wheel rides, no boardwalk strolls, no concrete date for reopening. Some clarity from the state is needed, Navy Pier management tells us. Yet clearly forging ahead, developers of Sable at Navy Pier, the landmark's first hotel. Guests are now welcome in its 223 rooms with floor to ceiling windows, specially designed to withstand high winds and rain. And we had to take so many extra steps because we're building on a lake. Hotel construction was actually completed in November, but Bob Habib chose to delay opening until now. Why not wait till April or May? We think the timing is great. People are starting to come out. We're telling people, when else can you come and have Navy Pier to yourself? They can't go far if they flock here. Sable guests are limited to hotel grounds until the rest of the pier opens. Late spring is the best prediction CBS2 could get. But Habib's confident enough that staff are in training at Sable's restaurant, Lyrica. Cooks are perfecting their recipes. Again, while the rest of dining spots at the pier remain closed. We decided we would open now. Give us the chance to, to uh, get the hotel uh, up and running. There has never been a hotel room on site. Imagine the traffic once conventions come back. Well, that opens up a new avenue of bookings for the pier as well. So it's a symbiotic relationship. It's a very symbiotic relationship. Hopefully soon we can all enjoy Chicago's beloved pier. The fireworks would be right here in front of your window. The return of an iconic show and normalcy. More Victory CBS 2 News. For more stories like this one, you can download our new app and make sure to look for the section called Morning Insider.